Right, so I asked on Instagram, what do you want to learn in Photoshop or Instagram or Lightroom? And one of the responses was how to create the great light, rays of light. So in this video, I will show exactly how I do it by using this photo and transform it into this one. Right, let's just start off with creating a new file here. Just gonna press Ctrl Command N and for this one I'm gonna use 2160 to 700. So this is two times the size of Instagram. I make it this size so I can scale it down later on when I'm finished. So this is fine, make sure to have 8 bit here and press create. Now I'm gonna select this all, press Ctrl Command C to copy this, these settings. And I'm gonna make this to 160 also. Now I have this, so I can just copy this and put it above this one. And if you don't see these guidelines here, you press Ctrl Command R. And let's make this square. So that way we can see what's on our profile on Instagram when we upload this. So I got rid of this background and made a smart object. So if you want to see how to do that, I will link this video up here. Let's just drag this in our new file. Press Ctrl Command T so I can resize this to make sure this fits the image. And let's bring this all up. I'm going to use this as the background, so I'm just going to copy this. Just Ctrl or Command A and Ctrl Command C. And Ctrl Command V to paste it. I'm not going to make a smart object here because I want to use a different kind of blur for this one. So usually I use Gaussian blur, but lately I've been using the lens blur and I think it looks a lot better for backgrounds. Let's just make sure we have the lighting right. You can see here we have lights coming from the left side. So to make sure the sun set from this background image is also on the left side. So let's just flip this horizontal. Like that, you can see here is the sun from this original image. Alright, for the blur I'm gonna use lens blur, you can find this here. And let's leave the radius to something like this, just copy these settings. The only thing I changed here was the radius, press OK. Now the difference between the lens blur and the Gaussian blur is that the lens blur looks a lot more realistic than lens blur but if you have stuff in the foreground I'm still using Gaussian blur for that one I will fix this border later on because maybe you won't see this I'm gonna create some lighting here all right let's make this lighter now we can make some light rays so I'm gonna create a new layer select the brush and Go all the way up and just select the normal soft round brush. Click on the color picker here and let's just sample some yellow from this background, maybe a little bit more to red, something like this. Make sure you have opacity and flow at 100 and make a little dot here. Now I want to make some light rays from this one, so what I'm going to do is Press Ctrl Command T so we can have this free transform window. And while holding down Ctrl or Command on Mac, just stretch one corner away, like that. And let's make the other one that way. Maybe a little bit this one. Let's zoom out here. Now we can make this bigger. So we have like this light ray and just drag one corner to the bottom. And just play around with these corners until you get some like light beams here. You can also do this with with a brush. I have these brushes here. They are called sunshine brushes, free sunshine brushes. If you Google those, you can find a lot of these brushes. So this is also a way to make these light rays. So like this, you can also do this. But I think this looks a little bit fake, so I try to use this method first and after that I can add these other ones. So this looks a little bit too yellow. So what I'm going to do is press Ctrl Command U so we can bring up the hue and saturation and let's bring up the lightness. So we have a bit more 
to the white and drop the saturation slightly. And let's move this around like this. I don't want to have it too much. You can make this smaller by holding down control and stretch it like that. So now I have like one light beam here. And if you press Ctrl Command J on your keyboard, you can duplicate this and move them around and make another one like that. Now let's make another layer here. And this time I'm gonna use a normal brush again. And this is what I'm gonna do for more lights here. So let's sample a color again. I'm gonna make something a little bit yellow like that. And place it here and change the back, change the screen, changes the screen like that. You don't want to have this too much because you won't see the image anymore. So make it smaller like that. All right, this looks like a pretty nice sunset here. And now we can move this around till we have a nice place. Maybe stretch it out like this, just a little bit. All right, now we can get the lighting better on this deer here so I'm gonna create a new layer here create the clipping mask fill it with 50% gray that's okay change blend mode to overlay and let's do some dutch here so with the dutch we can lighten up areas so here you want to select highlights first let's do some highlights here let's try to lighten up this eye here because we have now this really sunset lighting so I want to make sure this eye is lighter than the other one you can barely see the other one but okay so this is before and this is after looks better in the sunset maybe also do some curves here on this fur so we get this nice rim light here you can also do here some here all right you don't want to do it here because this is gonna be all white so it's just gonna get ruined. So let's only do this here. Some on the fur here. Now we can do some midtones here. I'm gonna drop this slightly to get some more here. I'm using two screens. I have one screen that is from my MacBook. The colors of the MacBook screen are pretty good and I'm working now on another screen and it's really difficult to see how this really looks because the screen from the other one the one I'm using now doesn't match so good so it's really difficult for me now to see if this right is or not so I'm trying my best here all right so you can see this was before and this is after we created some rim lights and now we can make some more lighting right Right, let's create a new curves layer and this time I'm going to do highlights so make sure to press this that way we only affect this layer underneath those and let's bring up the highlights so this is really light so you don't want to have it like this so what I'm gonna do is press on this mask and press Ctrl command I to get rid of it and with a white brush we can bring some parts back so I want to make some more lighting here. All right, let's not do it here. It gets all white. I can forget this fur all nice here. We can also drop the opacity of this brush here. A little bit more on this side. I saved this image as a PNG file and opened this up in Lightroom. I have, what I could do here is use presets. I have my presets or I can just create something myself. So in this video I will show how you can create something yourself instead of using my presets. So let's just start off with click on this one. We have lighting here so I want to make a circle right here. Let's move it to the center of this lighting. Let's scroll here down and select invert and we can drag this stretched out like that so now we can get some lighting popping out here so we can increase the exposure here get more lighting i won't have it too much add some more contrast to this if you 
you want to have like this really white lighting you can increase the highlights here let's bring up the shadow slightly here let's duplicate this so I'm just print right mouse duplicated and this time let's get rid of these settings and this time I'm gonna press invert here so we do the other side let's make these darker just a little bit darker less highlights right we don't want if it's too dark let's not touch that one like that now we can adjust the colors I feel like this has a little bit too much orange so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the orange here maybe some of the yellow and if you want to adjust these settings you can just press on this one and just make the settings here different so now you can create something like this if you're happy with this result just export this and you're done so I'm going to export this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add one of my presets so I think this one looks pretty cool let's see alright I like this one so I'm going to use this one and slightly adjust this Alright, these are the files from Lightroom I created. This was the first one that I showed to create and this was for the preset. So I'm gonna select this all, copy it and put this here above the other layer so you can see the difference. And also this one. And what I have to do here is drop the opacity of this just a little bit less. Because this one is too dark or just wanna have it slightly like that. So this is pretty much done for me, but to make this better, I always do some curves at the end to get the lighting even more popping out and the dark tone slightly darker like that. And I also use these curves for the color balancing. So I'm working on this annoying screen that I can't see the colors right. So I'm trying to make this the best of it now. So usually I just bring down these. And at the end you can do some color balance this is like sunset let's do some more red and a bit more bluish like that now if i press ctrl alt shift j i want to ctrl alt shift e i'm gonna make a duplicated layer of everything change the blend mode to vivid light go to filter other high pass and you can see here I can make this sharper so I usually I do this at the end sometimes to make the image even more sharper so this looks pretty cool I think I like this one so thanks for watching hope you like this video don't forget to like if you do and don't forget to subscribe